hello guys welcome again and we have done with the user registration screen and now this is the time to create user login after registration user will log into the app so before coding login in the android project we need uh, our web services that will handle the user login so come inside your db operations class and here we will create a public method public function user login and while login user will provide username and password and if the username and password will match to the database we will say the user is authentic and we can let him log in so create an stmt again and we'll write an sql query here select id from users where username is equals to question mark and password is equals to question mark i have given an and operator because while login username and password both should match with the actual data that is stored in the database so we need an and then we will bind the parameters bind underscore param the first parameter define the data type again we have two strings username and pass but wait password is stored in an encrypted format and password is stored in hash 5 in database so again we need to first encrypt the password and we will pass this password on the sql bind param method yes that's it now we will execute it we will store the result and then we will return return stmt num rows is greater than zero that means if the above query returns any result that means user is authentic and the user is available in the database table so we can let him log in and this method will return true but after login user we also need to fetch that user's details from the database so we will create one more method public function get user by email again we will pass the email or we are using username here so we will write username here username and then again we will write stmt equals to this con prepare select asterisk this time we will select all the records from the table from users where username equals to question mark again we will bind the parameter bind param first parameter this time only single one single s and then username then we will call the get result method and then we will convert the result into an associative array using the fetch underscore sock method and we will return this data the methods are ready now we will create one more script inside v1 that will handle the login so create a new file and save it as user login.php again we need these two lines actually these three lines so copy it paste php so if there is a post request we will check the required parameters are available or not so again we will write if is set and is set this time we have only two post username password that's it else we will add an error message so again we can copy this lines and paste it here and at the end we will display the message in json format 
okay now if we have the required values we will create a db object db equals to new db operations then we will check if the user is authentic or not using the user login method that we created so pass username and password so if this method returns true that means the user is correct and he can or she can log in so we will again fetch the user details inside this this block this is a block so we will write get user by username or let's cross check the method name get user by username i'm copying it and paste it and we will pass the username so copy this and paste it here so we have the user data store it in the variable user and then again we will create the response array this time error would be false there is no error and id would be the user id user id and we have email username in the database email email username username so and if it comes inside the else block that means the user has provided wrong username and password so in that case we will write that you have given invalid username and password so error is true this time and we will write invalid username or password so that's it i guess let's test it user login email name username we have to pass username and password so username was ajad at the rate of gmail.com and password was 123 for that we registered so let's start oops we are getting invalid username and password username oops we have to pass username and i'm passing email so username was ajad send again we are getting invalid username and password so there is some error so let's cross check the codes user login username pass set the database password username so no issue here and set the database oops username is ajad khan silly error username is not ajad it is ajad khan send there is an error on line number 47 so let's check line number 47 and what is the error let's read the message fetch a sock oops first we need to call the execute then we can call get result so this was the error let's check again and yes it's working we are getting error false and we are getting the all the user data in json format so that's it for the video friends and if you are having any confusions please leave your comments below the video and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching